Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ella Haywood coming to you live from the city of Westwood on the campus of UCLA on my break time. This is where I usually try to bring in and squeeze in the word of God from the words of wisdom to help you throughout the night. And tonight's word is, why do I need to go to church? And many of us today find so many excuses not to go to church. We complain about the confusion that goes on in the church that we sometimes allow that to keep us from going to church or we change and switch over to another church and I would call that hop jumping from one church to another one because you can't get along or because somebody done set you off they may have said or you allowed them to run you away from the church but we take and make so many excuses today to stay away and not go to church. We sometimes allow TV in, uh, the Christian stations to become our church, where that keeps us home sometimes, where we feel as though we have enough church, we don't need to be in somebody's church, but that is not so. And tonight I want to take a few moments to let you know what the word says and allow you to know that you do need to go to church. We need church because we are designed as relational beings. Spiritual growth occurs in the context of relationship that we'll find in a fellowship of Christian, meaning we need to be around church folks, folks that are sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. Even though we may know they are not, we still need to be around somebody with the fire burning within them. A Christian lifestyle is best practiced when it is lived out in community, only in relationships can we learn what it means to be patient, loving, giving, or sacrificial. Even God's gifts to you are meant to function in relations to others, meaning we have to combine with one another, confine in one another. Each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others. We are to serve one another, not to just lean on each other, but to serve one another according to the word of God. Each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve each other. Faithfully administering God's grace in his various forms, 1 Peter 4 and 10 explains. God wants a personal relationship with his children, and he wants his children to experience that relationship with other Christians, meaning we have to be around people. We can't sit out at home and not go to church. We have to go to some type of temple or tabernacle world. The word of God is being brought and be around sanctified folks. He has always centered out spiritual worship, training, and religious celebration in the heart of community. The people of Israel practiced their devotion as a nation. Modern day Christians practice theirs in the collective body of the church. It's easy for us to think that religion is strictly a personal matter. It's true that God calls each devotion as a nation, modern day Christian practice theirs in the collective bodies of the church. It's easy for us to think that religion is strictly a personal matter. It's true that God calls each of us individually and uniquely to our spiritual journey, but 
That's only one aspect of Christian living. From our individual commitment to Christ will come a growing need to both find and give support, direction, and interaction in the community of other believers. Amen? What begins, as I find, is completion in we, in Matthews 18 and 20. Jesus proclaimed, For where two or three come together in my name, there I am with them. God is always with us as individuals, but Jesus seems to be saying that there is also a unique quality of communication that he shares with us when we meet together. So we have to come together one of these days out of a week in a tabernacle worship and praising God together. Amen. One of the most important functions of the church in our lives, however, is in moving us forward. Spiritual maturity. Ephesians 4, verse 11 through 16 explain that the goal of church life is that we may be built up until we all reach unity in faith and become mature sanctified Christians. Amen. Through the influence of the church we will all in all things grow up into him. As part does it works we may know and love God on our own. Amen. But we become complete in him when we are connected to life of the church. Amen. These are the words of wisdom for tonight and I pray and hope that you that has an ear that hear what thus says the Lord allow these words to be a blessing to you and let you know that you need to go to church. So don't sit at home anymore. Get up and go to church. God created heaven and earth within six days and on the seventh day, he rests. But that seventh day is a day of praise and worship, which we will call Sunday. So you need to be in church, at least if not on Tuesday in Bible study, if not on Wednesdays in choir rehearsal, or not on Friday during youth service, at least be there on Sunday. There's four to five Sundays out of a year. And we need to be in church at least on a Sunday morning, worship and praising our God Almighty. Because our main purpose of life today is to worship and magnify our God. And the only way we're going to do that is when we come together in unity. Yes, we can pray you for one another, but how can I pray for you when I don't know what's going on with you if I never see you. So we need to bring our neighbors, our friends, our relatives, and everybody who we can to church. Pray my strength in the Lord, and all have a blessed night. Amen.